वेलकम बैक यू आर वॉचिंग स्टोरी बोर्ड एंड यू जस्ट बीन वॉचिंग ए डिस्कशन ऑन सम टेरेबल प्रिंट एडवर्टाइजिंग डिस्प्लेड बाय द ई कॉमर्स प्लेयर्स लास्ट वीक वी टेक दिस डिस्कशन फॉरवर्ड बाय एक्सप्लोरिंग हाउ द एड्स लैक्ट बोथ एस्थेटिक्स एंड एन आइडिया I'm going to start with you, uh, Swapan. Tell me what agencies can do. Uh, imagine uh, a wonderful world where uh, one year from now, when we are at the next uh, 2016 festival season, uh, imagine a Times of India or a Hindustan Times full of great print ads. What does it take for that to happen? I think it takes a uh, great conviction and a great understanding between between the agency and the client. And I think that's important to build because. Uh, I'll give you a simple example. I we just got sacked from a business about three weeks ago, and the new agency released this new campaign for the same brand. And I and I called up the client and I said, "This after you bought what we did for you, I mean you're the same guy. What happened?" And he and he had no answer for me. So you know sometimes what really happens is that here was this guy who won who bought this award-winning campaign, sacks us for whatever reason, hires another agency. get some uh, average work out on his brand and you can't understand i mean what really happened in a matter of weeks is did his aesthetic change what change nothing change uh, so it's surprising so i think it's it's all about your relationship i don't what does it take uh, to, for uh, so i'm going to make a slightly controversial point here i okay, think sure. that uh, agencies should stop celebrating print only at award shows Right. I think that is a starting point because till we go into those award shows and see print ads which nobody ever sees, and we see it at the shows, we feel very good about it. Nobody has seen those ads, and there is a there is an understanding of print advertising which only the advertising industry understands, right. which nobody outside of the advertising industry understands right. and celebrates. So I think we need to take that into uh, into uh, and turn turn it into populist creativity, and I think. that we need to work as hard on the medium as we do on film and as we do on digital films it's shocking because we work so much harder even on a digital film which is far lower budgets than yeah, than absolutely. print advertising is so i think that needs to change so i i'm hoping for Sukesh, that tell me you know he spoke about the aesthetics uh the thing that worries me is none of these ads has an idea So that's there's not nothing there's no idea it's so just you exactly. know slap some uh, you no, know that products on and put a price yes what I, i was trying to tell you the same thing i think uh, most of us if the way we push ourselves when it comes to uh, every other format of advertising if we see that's what i'm saying i think the first onus lies on us because one is no no he said onus lies on you but what are you doing about it no, so that's what i think onus lies on us for example if we uh put that effort for example we put that effort and time into something a brief which is like this for example and like i said there are lots of examples of work which are not just done for the award but we see from across the world and say hey that's a great sale campaign for example absolutely i'm saying the point is first we have to think of an idea that befits this festival season sale i think if you put it and then 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 comes the fact that if you have a great relationship with the client you can actually even you know experiment and try that and once the person uh you know this success i'm sure he'll want more or he or she will want more because that's exactly how we do all the other great work the other medium so i personally think that we are not putting them on a no, time and effort that. no what so is an example what does it so, take for it to change so so yes so recently we did a campaign for a dot com client uh, called grofers so we did a bunch of films and we did some decent looking print ads nobody spoke about the print ads everybody spoke oh, about the films everybody spoke and said hey these are really entertaining films no and they were decent looking i'm not saying they were great they were very decent looking stuff there was outdoor there was print which is one there were front full page ads in the in the papers and they were very very nice looking but nobody celebrated of course uh, and i think that's that's the problem with the industry as such because films catch our fancy more than uh, print does and i think that's uh, that's something that we're going to have to work on overall right you know so when i'm going to come to you uh, think about this and answer uh suppose uh, you had to give some advice to all the marketers watching the show on how they should deal with print uh tell me what you would say to them so what i'd say to them is actually a bit of a disagreement with what was being shared by 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 you guys earlier i don't think i don't think fine print advertising is just the prerogative of the advertising agency or the client you know, you're my friend on facebook and you know where the reactions come from whenever i post an ad that we've done In my mind everyone likes to see a fine piece of work in print on a billboard on television all of that 
you know. So it's not, it is extremely populist. Good, good advertising works for everyone. So I think the entire thing is to, to, to make a concerted effort and to, to tell clients that, you know, why don't you test this out, release the ad and see what it does to the brand. Yeah. Because the proof of the pudding is Arun, in the what, what would you say to that? I would say that I think, uh, so the client's idea of, hey, I've spent my money well on this medium has to change. Right. And you, Sukesh, what so would you say? I think we need to start again going back to the great photographers, the great people that we used to work with to create those great print, for example. The solution does not lie saying they make print a cheap medium, for example, and just pay the money for the release. Actually spend the money also on the idea and spend the talent to make it happen. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, Swapan. Thank you, Arun. Thank you. Thank you, Sukesh. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Definitely a lot to learn for festive season 2016. Along with e-commerce players and brick and mortar retailers, this festive season is also big for beverage brands and Pepsi is not holding itself back. After a series of interesting attempts and the use of celebrities to help grab the consumer's attention, Pepsi this time round has decided to keep it simple. In its new campaign, Pepsi highlights a simple human insight on how you don't need an excuse to grab your favorite drink. Pepsi Thi Pigaya. Let's take a look at the new campaign. प्रशासन ने आपकी मांगे मानने से इनकार कर दिया है तो अब आप क्या करेंगे कॉलेज प्रशासन के इस फैसले से साफ पता चलता है कि उन्हें छात्रों की कितनी परवाह है जी इसलिए हमने ये फैसला किया है कि ये भूख हड़ताल जो पिछले चार दिनों से चल रही है अब वो अनिश्चित काल तक चलेगी जा खड़ा हर लड़का हर लड़की खाना तो क्या पानी के बूंद तक Pepsi the air, Piga. Pepsi is is probably the most iconic youth brand that has ever been there. You know, right? And we all know that. And it's always been. Uh, uh, and a creative communication or expressions that have become uh, part of pop culture and have been used in news headlines quite frequently from Ye Dil Mange More to Nothing Official About It to um, uh, Even Noe Bubbly and all of them. Uh, so even this one we believe has the potential to go uh, into popular expression. Uh, it's all about uh, you know following your instinct and uh, you don't need an excuse, you don't need a reason. To, to look at that chilled bottle of Pepsi or the chilled can of Pepsi and then just take a swig. Along with this campaign, Pepsi also made news by pulling out of IPL as a title sponsor. It brought an abrupt end to what was meant to be a long five-year contract with the shorter and entertaining format of the game of cricket in India. With that, it's a wrap on Storyboard this week. You can catch all our content on Facebook, Twitter and YouTube. Thanks for watching and we'll be back same time next week. See you soon.